Oh, Jesus. Yeah, this is the thing, apparently. Yeah, so, this is a thing, apparently. Uh, let's lower that slightly. Um... Who knew? Apparently. I don't need any of these lessons, but let's try them. Let's see if they did any better of a job. Intro flight. I hope it's already pre-configured properly for my settings. We shall see. We shall see. Um... Yeah. Take forever to load, don't ya? Sorry for that black box at the top. Nothing I can do about it. Unless I put this in full screen, which I don't want to do. This is taking a while. Why is this sticking so long? Ay ay ay! What's taking you so long to load? I haven't touched anything in this game yet. So, we'll see. I just have the loading wheel of death in if you can see that. Oh! EQ needs a bit of work. Worst takeoff I've ever seen, but okay. We've reached a safe altitude, so let's try some simple maneuvers. You don't need to worry about any of the instruments, we're just going to learn some basic flight control. When I give you control of the aircraft, I'll say, you have control, and when I take back control of the aircraft, I'll Type say out. I have control. Now we're going to try gently rolling the aircraft. This will allow us to turn the aircraft left or right. The faster the turn, the more roll you'll need. For now, we only want to do a small turn, so a bank angle of around 15 degrees is perfectly fine. Okay, give it a go and turn to your left. You have control. Watch your altitude. Try not to raise or lower the nose. Yeah. Okay, level out. 
Hang on. That is impressive. Wow. Settings. Display. Um. Obviously, I want to see that. <laughs> Graphics. Hi. 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 Uh, filtering. Oh. Try linear and deal using no. God, this UI is not user friendly. It has to load again. Wow. Slow clap. Slow clap. Hopefully it'll load faster. Well, thrilling. Doopity doop doop doop. This is kind of sad that it has this long of a loading time for a base game on 64 bit. FSX is much quicker. <laughs> uh, that's sad. I am running on an SSD, in fact. There's nothing running on the SSD right now, except for this. <laughs> it... I don't know. It's the only thing loaded from that SSD right now. Everything else is running from my other drive. And Windows is running from a different drive. I don't know. Ah, there we go. That you are flying straight and level. Ooh, the choppiness. Level the plane out? Okay. No, the other way. No, don't touch the pedals yet. We'll come to that later. No, the other way. Okay, what 
Okay, level out. Yeah. Oh, this is like. Fantastic. Yeah, hopefully that'll be fixed. This is like, like some, uh, or flight school, FPS. Um, no, Twitch is a good sample. I'm streaming this at 30 FPS. I don't know. This will lower the nose and cause the aircraft to descend. A secondary effect of this will be increasing speed. You have control. Okay. No, don't touch the pedals yet. I'm not touching the pedals! Okay, level out. I have control. No, don't touch the pedals yet. We'll come to that later. Yeah, the train looks now, beautiful, and this is only high. When you want to climb, raise the nose um, the sky yeah. by gently pulling the stick back. When you want to descend, lower the nose by pushing the stick gently forward. Uh, is my hard no, drive just, like, flashing? We'll no, we'll it's control. not. So gently pull the stick back to increase pitch. Not really. No, the other way. No, the other way, what? <laughs> I just pulled it up. Uh, enough pitch. Okay. Okay, level out. Now try the rudder. You can move this left or right. Don't hold the rudders too long or too far, or you might okay. be getting in a spin. That's it. This moves the nose side to side, or yours, the aircraft. The rudder is used in concert with other controls to keep the Okay, so it's trying to keep me in this orientation by forcing it, but occasionally I do have control. The final control is the throttle. Try moving the throttle lever all the way back to idle. See how the nose wants to drop as we slow down. Now, move the throttle lever all the way forward. Once wants to drop, it is quite clearly dropping. Okay, move the front lever back to about the halfway position. Great! Now you've tried all of the flight controls. That's really all there is. What the fuck game? This has better frame rate! Has better frame rate. Test flight over. You've learned a few of the basics, and hopefully, it's given you an appreciation of how a plane handles. There's a lot more to learn, so <sighs> hopefully, you'll want to take this further and perhaps take some lessons. I'm sure one of the flight school instructors will be happy to take you flying. Um, yeah, maybe not. Um, settings. Let's go back into the settings and change that. I've only ever lowered graphics on this. Nope, nope. Come on. There we go. Nope. Uh, bilinear. Back. Four. <sighs> Yeah, I am playing in 4K. That could also be doing it, but it's, it booted like this, so I'm impressed that they even handled 4K properly. I've seen games try to do 4K, but it does 1080 instead. I've seen the other thing happen where it tries to do 8K. I don't know. Some games just can't handle it properly. This handled it beautifully, so... They at least have the 4K handled. That black bar, by the way, is due to my screen resolution squishing the game a little bit because I don't run in full screen. Um, so... Go back. Are you sure you want to quit the flight? Yes. Okay. So... Approaches, ferry, hamp. <laughs> this 
situation, taxi, hub, all. This is only missions! Come on, free flight, there we go. Uh, aircraft selection. Hey! They licensed something other than a Piper! <laughs> um... Oh, I do know how to fly that. Weather conditions. Um, summer sunset, stormy weather, winter wonderland. Uh, winter wonderland, let's try that. And select a departure airport. Now, me being me, RJCC. Hey, they support Japan! Cool. Me being me there. Um... Where in the U.S. do we want to fly? Um... I have a place! TVL. Let's try TVL. And we'll do TVL to... Oh, I don't know. Uh, okay, so... Let's go to my one training airport, which is that airport. And they say they have nav aids, so let's use a nav aid. That's not how nav aids work. Um, I have not looked. Uh, do they have Eham? Uh, most definitely they have Eham, considering they're a British or a UK-based company. So, yeah. Uh, there we go. This does nothing. Do they at least let you see the waypoint information that you're trying to find? 115.2, thank you. Let's start. 115.2. Let's just remember that, or someone can type it in chat. I'm assuming it's going to pop me in on the runway, which will annoy me, but whatever. That bit of the UI is nice, at least, so we'll see. Okay. Free flight. Literally nothing. Okay. Defrost, probably on. Blackbait heater, let's put that on. That responds. Then that, yeah, standby guards. Okay. Where's the nav stack? There's the nav stack. Um. Let's see. So that's calm. I want nav. Let's select. One one five decimal. How do you decimal? Ah, there we go. Okay, so let's actually switch source and then do the whole two shindig. Five decimal two, set that active. Sacramento. And I hate glass so much. Um, we want that way ish. We'll see. Um, okay. Ooh. Something's 
move. Brakes are not responsive. Okay. So, settings. You wanted me to check 2560 by 1080. 2560 by 1080. Um, I'm guessing it knows I'm a 16 by 9 ratio, so it probably won't show it for me. This game has an FPS counter in it. Amazing. Bezel's line. Um, controls. Axis. Reflight Cessna rudder pedals. Right axis. Left. Yeah. Okay. Right axis. Right. Yeah. We'll see if we have to invert either of those later. Okay. Next. Lodge attack. Yes, I have this because I can't be bothered. Uh, rudder axis. No. Clear. Okay. Delete joystick assignment there. Let's go back to you. And rudder axis is set to rudder. Throttle axis. Um, yeah, no, uh, delete. You should not have access to the rudder, or to the throttle. Continue. Okay. Uh, I sh do have to... Yeah, <laughs> it does. For British company, it's kind of surprising. Settings. Uh, do. Controls. Uh, calibration. Uh, um. First off, this should be down. That should be down. That should be down. I actually tell you to do this, so I'm not. Actually, rudder axis should be zero. If I... Um. Axis. Your. Hurt. Yep. Okay, left brake, right brake, air, air, left brake, brake, control shift to you, no, come on, why is the rudder lock of all things? Let's turn on that FPS counter. This thing doesn't have an FPS counter. <laughs> no, Shift Z does nothing. Light Sim World physically does not. Okay, X. Pull up, there's Y. Shift Z, it does nothing. Flight Sim World. That, you might be talking about Flight Sim X. That's a different game. Oh wait, that- Oh, there it goes. My bad, I was pressing the wrong buttons. That happens. Yeah! Flight Sim World came out one hour ago. There's no such thing as a custom program. Okay. 
Okay, let's continue our climb out. Pull back. Use that speed down to probably Y or X. One or the other. Uh, what does FPS say? Uh, let's press Shift Z again. Uh, unlimited 30 FPS. Pretty FPS with the occasional drop down to like 21, apparently. I hope's achievement. Uh, guys, this wasn't very hard to get to. Okay. Uh, I have stream set to 720p because it's actually better on some people's systems. Twitch has horrible encoding that uses a lot of resources, so 720p is actually optimum on Twitch. Go figure. Okay, let's test the autopilot, now that we're in the air. Autopilot on, yaw dampener on. Um, altitude. Will it descend to me? Also, I like how I did that exactly at 8,000 feet, apparently. That's that. Well, sorry, we all don't have $200 to spare. Okay. Let's see here. Oh dear. Okay then. Let's close that promptly. Um, yeah. <laughs> ah, default aircraft being default. Lovely. Speed of heat should probably be on for this altitude. It's actually doing a reasonable job of actual altitude control and whatnot. Up, do do. Strong nav. Not bad. Let's go ahead and retract those gears. Beautiful animation there. Well, I didn't do what I expected it to do. I wonder if it's going to do that wonky autopilot thing where it doesn't actually choose a direction. Fifteen people, that's not bad.
there's heading control. There's heading control. Let's pipe it that way. No, let's not turn that on. Uh, traffic might be a good thing to turn on. Oop. No. Was it Sacramento? I'm just wondering, does it actually know it's Sacramento or is it just lying? Huh? Apparently knows it's Sacramento. So fly me there. No no no. No no no. Come on. Over to the proper heading. Same control for that. Let's put this thing into a uh, stall. controls. There's a stall horn. That was a stall. Okay. Let's get the flops out. There we go. Flaps are out. Okay. That's not what I want to see from a stall. Come on. What if we have a we keep a little bit of power in there? It just goes straight down. That's not how stalls work. Toby's. Just did the stall test. Yep. Okay. I don't know what's wrong with my rudder. That's the question. Settings. Control. Axis. Reflect rudder pedals. Go down. Rudder. Better. Inverted? No, 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 no.
rudder seems like particularly underpowered in this plane. There we go. Ah, that's what Yaw Dampener does. This one. Um. It does look better than FSX, I have to admit that. Um. They do have to work on their FPS, but uh, it, it is actually better than FSX on graphics. Graphics is superb. Um. It's 64 bit versus FSX 32 bit. And raindrops. That's another thing that they have in this game. That's completely on a different topic. It does look better than FSX, and it handles better than FSX. Give it time, and it will most definitely have software out there. They just have to fix the uh, major bug out there currently. What if I... Oh, you can pop the breakers on this. That's cool. Let's pop the COM-1 pedo. Broken. Live. Um, one pedo doesn't trigger anything. Um, autopilot. That does something. Okay, let's turn that back on before I break anything. Let's see. MFD. That does jack all. Okay. Yeah, they, they did use Orbix for this, and I have to admit, it does look actually not bad. Yes, you could download Orbix for FSX, but it's all payware for that. This it comes default, and I, since I still own Flight School, which was a failure, um, hang on, someone's doing something that I, they should not be, there we go. Is AccuFuel integrated? That's why it's so much better. <laughs> it does feel more realistic, and I approve. I have not actually purchased AccuFuel. I've just used been I've just been using A2A planes which have it built in, but not for other aircraft, so it's nice. I've never actually purchased a add-on through Steam or FSX. I've always got it from the developer. You can actually see the edge of the terrain over there, mind you. That is Actually, bad programming right there. I'm only playing this right now because, yeah, bad chunk loading. It's weird. Should be doing better than this, but whatever. Um, yeah. I'm only playing this because uh, Flight School players got it for free, so. Yes, the seats do have seatbelts. I'm sure they do absolutely jack all, though. Like, seatbelt, yes. I'm not wearing mine. Good job, game. Sound logic there. Okay. Can you read that? No, so the text is still illegible. If. Yeah, that's sad. 
Uh, you can turn on the ELT. Does... Is Diamond the people who have the... Yes, it was free for people who have flight school. If you're refunded uh, flight school, you do not get the game. I was utterly confused whenever I got the game and I had no idea about that. Yeah, I really don't like glass, but whatever. Simraid is in here too. Pause the flying views. New view. Mode. There are airports over there. Let's turn off our autopilot and uh, go over there. Mm. Not white. Uh, this one does have non-piper aircraft like this one, which I am glad. It annoyed me when flight school was only Piper. ATC window. They do have an ATC window. Um, F off log. Here's the airport list. Um, I'm not actually sure what the airport up ahead is. It is Kilo Papa Victor Ho or what? Kilo Papa Victor Foxtrot. Airport's farther from you. Kilo Papa Victor Foxtrot. Why the heck does this have a scroll wheel? It should not be having a scroll wheel. That's just confusing. Oh, yeah. What planes is there? Um, I will tell you as soon as I land at this airport. Because I kind of want to land at this airport. Let's go back. Make sure I read that properly. Kilo Papa Victor Foxtrot. Yeah, I read that properly. Why is it on there but not on here? The board's farther from you. The Papa Victor Foxtrot. No, 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 no. Airport's closer to you. Airport's oh. closer to you still. Kilo Papa Victor Foxtrot. There it is. Placerville. That's the airport name. Is all airports modeled? We shall see, because there's... Yeah. We shall see. Uh, automated weather. So three, four, six at what was it? Five. Okay. Graphic. I select a runway for landing. Two, three, and five. Um, five is closer to the wind heading, right? Hang on a minute. Uh, five. Okay. So let's turn. Uh, announce full stop landing. Kilo Papa Victor 
Foxtrot traffic deck November. Oh God! Delta Alpha is three miles east. Six eight hundred inbound to land. Runway five. Oh God! Oh. Dear God. Down there, at least it's not empty. But I have seen worse. Um, hmm. the, the, the British is cringe, though, I have to admit. That's just close that, because I won't be using it. Let's just be honest. The Britishness is just cringe. Range. Down. Oh. There we go. Okay. Does this plane have speed brakes? No, it doesn't. That's to be expected. I am idling this plane as much as I can, though. So. There goes flaps. And save. Two down, two green. Three down, three green. There we go. Holding back pressure, so let's trim that off. Yes. Uh, well, actually, is it the F? Is it the mouse cursor that's causing? Uh. Most of the it, no. The mouse cursor is not really the issue. Traffic, paper, November, and Niner, seven, and November, taking off runway three five five departure. Still, very British. That's cringy. Uh, it's cloudy now. No, it's just foggy. This is fog. <laughs> uh, this is ground level. Okay. We shall see. Uh, yes, yes, you do. Hi, raindrops. I mean, that looks more like snow because of where we are, but whatever. Okay, let's go and correct over. Uh, my mouse cursor is not shown on the screen right now, and I'm still getting uh, drops. Uh, it's because it is loading new chunks, and that is the issue. Their chunk loading could do a fair bit of, uh, fixing. Let's, uh, not crash into these trees, preferably. Next level of laps. I don't know, man. It's n the the mouse issue is not a problem for me. It by far was not causing the issues. Oh boy, this is not going to turn out well.
Okay. I am not used to this aircraft. The reason the landing was so bad. Okay. That's a service road. Probably don't want to use that. It looks more like snow. <laughs> to me, it just looks like snow. Okay. I am at full power right now. I do not feel like full power. This does not feel like full power. Why? Did I break an engine or something? We'll see. But the moon that I can't see from here, or or can I? I don't think I can. I don't know. This is full power. Did I break something? I think I broke something. This is full power right now, and I'm trying to start the left engine. No? I probably broke something. Okay. Well. Uh, boop. Are you sure you want to quit the flight? Yes. I don't care. Land at that place that I wasn't planning on. Why not? Okay, aircraft selection. Someone asked, what aircraft do they have? Uh, they have these three manufacturers. Um, developer? Yeah, that's nice. And I guess that. Multi-engine piston. Uh, they have the DA-42 Twin Star and the Piper PA-34 Seneca 5. Uh, if we... Ah, there we go. Uh, the Diamond uh, DA-40. Or the Diamond Star, I guess. Uh, Piper PA-18 Super Cub. Uh, the PA-28 Cherokee 180, which will be my next flight. Uh, the PA-46 Malibu Mirage and the RV-7A. PA-28. That's my choice. Uh, they're asking me where I want to fly between. And... Geez, um... What are you? Um, is it these islands up here? Yes! Eh. Uh, weather conditions. Forever autumn. Let's stray. Yep. Let's do this Papa Westray flight first. I don't have the uh, aircraft installed uh, for it though, so... It won't be 100% accurate to the real airline flight that flies between these two airports in 47 seconds, apparently. Arcade style? What do you mean?
Aileron's roll only. No shit. <laughs> um, is it in arcade style? Yeah? Uh, no? It should be in realistic. Should be. I will check as soon as I load in. Kinda hard to check in a loading screen. It's a loading screen, what do you expect? Okay, so, settings, realism, hard, crashes, uh, let's just turn off crashes, random flight failures, probably not a good thing, on, 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 auto mixture off, stress damages engine, show compass, good. There, now it's in realism. Um... Well, this is a different plane than I'm used to. Okay, should be a similar flight model. Fifty, sixty, rotate. Whoa! There we go. That. <laughs> okay. Yeah, why not? Um, clear. Yeah. Uh, shift one. Okay. So, yeah. There's the other airport. That's the land. I'm not kidding. These are the actual airports that I flew between. It's kind of impressive how tiny they are. And yeah. There's that. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Game, that is not how parking spaces work. <sighs> Why does it not surprise me? Um, yeah, it's both options. You can be arcade ish or realistic. I would prefer realistic. Feels very realistic, at least. And I like that. Okay. Does it have a hide yoke option? No, it doesn't. Okay. Can't plug those in. You'll select our left. That's fine. Um, primer. Out. No, pumped. Whatever. Um, wait, there's a hide controls button. Did I see that? Oop. Hide controls. Fucking A. There we go. Steer 
off. Carburetor heat off. Ah, yes, that would explain why it was different. It's carburetor. Carburetor explains a lot of things. Doesn't have a thing down here saying hey, I'm, I've set my parking brakes. Okay, interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and open that. And battery should be off now that the engine's off. I doubt it is. There we go. Okay. Beacon light automatic. No. No game. No. Uh, that's sad. You leave the beacon light on. <laughs> uh, anyways. Yeah, okay. Let's, uh, flight planner. Let's change this. You guys want me to fly between different places, eh? Okay. Exit this flight. Not. Right, whatever. Aircraft selection. Uh, multiplayer. Connecting to Steam. K Rob. Um, that's not how things work. Huh. Multiplayer works. Friends list. Boo. Nope. Not touching that. Nope, nope, nope. Training. Okay. So it has that, um, for a PPL. Then there's this new location, which is an MEP. Huh. And now let's not. Free flight. Aircraft selection. Hmm. I've always wanted to fly a Malibu Mirage. Let's fly that. Weather conditions. Um, a sunny day. Why not? Like your departure airport. <laughs> so, where would be a fun place to fly between? Gatwick to Shipple. Um, we're not an airliner. Uh, how does it look at night? Does it have nighttime? It does not have nighttime in here. <sighs> That's sad. Yeah, I'd love to test it at night. Um, you know what? Since I'm a Japan nerd and because it's only daylight right now. Why not? Let's fly somewhere in Japan. Um, where's good GA airports? Uh, here's Tokyo. Chofu. Um, no, let's not go to Matsumoto. No. Fukushima? Maybe not. That's Niigata. Um, that's a military base, so let's not fly there. Or, that's a military base, I don't know. Let's fly to Tokyo, because reasons. Firm. Start. Did it? I don't know. I'll back out. Change that. It's nighttime in Japan, isn't it? Anyways. Yep, 3 a.m. in Japan.
This is why I'm streaming, because you guys can see what I can't. Uh, if anyone wants me to, I can test porting over an FSX add-on into this game, seeing if I can get it to work. I tried that with Flight School, did not work so well. Okay, let's exit. Yes. Free flight. Aircraft selection. Malibu. Boom. Free flight. Aircraft selection. Malibu. Go. I don't know why it wants me to be there. That's not my home airport, but whatever. Um. Oh, I see how it is. Uh, you don't allow you to cross the time, uh, the dateline. That's sad. Uh, is that Chofu? That is Chofu, and we'll go to Tokyo. Back. And the weather conditions. Did it say? Ah, it did say cold night. Let's try it. Nope! Oh, come on, it has to have a sim objects folder. I will go and find it right now, for Pete's sakes. It already has the, uh, ATUA folder, somehow. <laughs> Good job. Um, it, no, it has a sim objects folder. It has an airplanes folder, and it has the airplanes listed right there. Also a shared thing, whatever. Oh, interesting. Yeah, no, there is a sim objects folder. It's most definitely there. Ooh. Ooh. I can't see a thing. I cannot see a thing outside, and I just turn on the lights, so, yay, let me find my TV remote and change the setting. Please, adjust your home monitors. No, that's not going to change a thing. Okay. No landing lights. Eh. Let's see if I turn this up. Nope. Okay. Well, shucks. Yeah, nope. Turning things up is not going to help. Lovely. Um, at least on my end it won't. Um, does that have landing lights? That's interior. Or should be interior. Uh, they have a hide controls button. I don't know this plane well. Actually, this is the first time I've flown it. Um, my switches are usually here. Zero percent for the. Ah, uh, that's parking brake. That doesn't do shit. How does it look at night? Yeah, I hit the L key. L key does nothing, apparently. L, L. Yeah, no, I am not flying at night if I can't see anything. Are you sure you want to quit the flight? Yes, I want to quit the flight. Thank you. Aircraft selection. Malibu. Weather conditions. Ah, uh, cold front. Why not? <clears throat> Departure airport. RJTF. And let's not set that. Let's just confirm. Start. Yeah, obviously. You must land at an airport. No, 
No, of course there's a sim objects folder. That's how FSX and P3D work. <laughs> I, I, I'd be concerned if they didn't. Really? I haven't seen that. The, the There's that big box that says configure weather conditions and then you select which one. Is there a way to modify that? Huh. I wish I would just by default use real world. Real world's just better. I have yet to fly to an international airport in this game, so let's see how an international airport looks. Specifically one as important as Tokyo. And the proper Tokyo. Not shit Tokyo. Ooh, pain. My barometer's saying correctly, good to know. I need to reduce the sensitivity on my run of metals. Noted. And... Rotate. Baby, yes! There we go, we're in the air. Whew. Gear up. Gear unlocked. Pops up. Aw, oh, that is just beautiful. Look at that. Proper GPS in this plane. Cool, cool. Yeah, very pretty. I can't concur with that. You, you cannot open the window. That is sad. Get on to 16 right, if I recall correctly. That's the runway we want to aim for. So, yeah, let's turn to get lined up with that. I can't wait until they get Cessnas into this game, and I that is actually the first plane I will be trying to mod in if you guys want me to show that on stream. Because I desperately want a Cessna. <laughs> Knowledge of Haneda, we they usually don't land planes on one six, but you know. Yeah, I am still curious. I am willing to modify the heck out of the config file. I'll just try to transfer this FSX default Cessna. Let's see if that'll work. It, it's reasonable to assume that nothing will work, considering that they use blah, 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 blah. Those were built for 32-bit, and this is a 64-bit program. But who knows? I'm not that high, am I? 
people say, leave the mixture up until 3,000. We are not above 3,000. Engine stats are nice, though. They're actually much better than anything I've seen. Really? I see. So they want the gear out at this point. That's your plane. I knew that was the gear horn. I mean, what else could it be? But that's just kind of sad. That is 16. Why am I seeing it not being drawn properly? Hmm. That is 16, yes? That has to be 16. What else could it be? That's not right. That's... no. That's not what the airport looks like. Is it? I don't think that's what the airport looks like, because GA should be... Yeah, I do like the rain effect, and it kind of works with the uh, airspeed of the aircraft, and I like that. Oh, that... Oh, okay, yeah, now that the we're close enough, the uh, other runway's loaded in. The uh, rain effect is kind of repetitive, though, I must admit. And I'm seeing little variation in the clearer spots that have no rain on them, ever. So, just beware those spots do exist. Yeah. I swear the GA area was slightly more left. Uh, the GA area is that spot that's popping into the right windshield right now. Over there on my right, that stuff I swear was a little bit more left. I do see a lot of reused assets from flight school in here, I must admit that. I'd like to see if a uh, developer in here would know if they've tested FSX vehicles at all. If a developer's in here. The engine torque is real in this thing. Right. 
That's disuse, isn't it? Oh wait, you work for them? I approve. That explains why you know something that I don't. Oh! This is a company I would know of. And I hope to lord it's not Aerosoft. <laughs> That's the only company I really do not approve of. Uh, we'll take the Bravo 6. Bravo 6, which I believe transfers into November 6. The signs look astounding, by the way. I approve of the signs right there. Those signs look beautiful. Okay. So intrigued to what company? I, uh, I'm sorry, I do need to change the settings. Controls, rudder access, sensitivity. Bring that bloody down. <laughs> ah, Flight One. Uh, the company that I've never given a thing to. Okay. Yeah, um, Flight One. You guys have an aircraft that interested me for a while, but I never really got around to getting it. And I think I only wanted that aircraft because it was the only one out there. It was a very un unheard of aircraft, it seemed. I think it goes for FS Economy, I wanted it. Uh, Tango will take, uh, Tango to the right here, yes. And I believe it is spot 204 we'll be parking in. If I recall the, uh, parking charts correctly. Assuming they have parking spaces over here. This is the GA area, and I don't see parking spaces. <sighs> okay. Well then. Actually, there's a hangar over there. Let's drive this plane into a hangar. Yeah, I used to be active on FSE. Not anymore. There's a hangar. Let's see if the rain stops when I drive into the hangar. Because it's a hangar, for Pete's sakes. I think I tried this at some other airports in FS... Or flight School? Yeah, Flight School. Thank god that was a failure. And... Brakes. Okay. Uh, let's go into third person to make sure I don't drive into anything. Make sure I remain clear. I don't see why they even model the floor here. No, oh, plane wings were too long anyways. Anyways. I'm just gonna... Hmm. I'm inside the building. Mostly inside the building at least. Let's go all the way inside the building.
going to be close. Uh, what is? Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> huh. Yeah. I am now entirely inside of the building. <sighs> Open hangar, yes. Um, let's hide the controls. Where's the uh, thing, the jigger? That's gear. Where's the magneto selector? It's a turboprop, but still, where's the engine starter? Ending gear lever. Emergency gear deploy. Oh. Fuel selector. Cool. Panel lights. Cool. Atomic lights. Yeah. And switch dimmers. Go and pull that. Hang on. Does that look like a reverser to anyone else? <sighs> that looks like a bloody reverser to me. I don't know why, but it looks like a reverser. Does this plane have reverse? I'm going to say no. Okay then. <laughs> ah, you do that. See ya, mate. Ah. <sighs> Where's the door on this plane? That's a good question. Not the door. That is the door. Emergency hatch that I clearly see. Oh, that the car. What door is that? Is that the cargo? Is that the engine? That's kind of hard to tell. It's clearly a third door somewhere that I just opened. Hmm. Does door four do anything? No. Five. No. It was, uh, worth buying! Um, if you have a high-end system, you can run on medium graphics with minimum lag on short flights. Uh, it did just come out, so there, there's still a lot of unknowns. Um, I am actually about to close out the game and test something. Uh, was about to, unless you want to see another flight, but it, o overall, it's not bad. Uh, yeah, control. Oh. Ground clear. I, I don't know what ground clear is. Uh, so, possibly worth buying? You're gonna have to get someone else's opinion on this. I'm not the... Yeah, not the person to ask, but... Um, yeah, I want to attempt to port over the game or, or port over FSX planes or scenery, seeing if either of those work. Hopefully they will, crossing my fingers, but yeah. So, overall review, you can't play on max graphics, um, my red... My rudder's acting up, apparently. I'm watching you. Um. Yeah, um. Not the best, not the worst. Better than FSX, but worse on a few sectors than FSX. 
uh, like frame rate uh, has occasional drops. You have um, very few plane selection, which I want to talk to some developer of Dovetail who worked on this and get them to fix shit. Um. Yeah. But overall, it's good. Just has to get new uh, things added to it. Like, you know, scenery and good aircraft. Because these aircraft feel amazing with AccuFuel. But I would like to see some other aircraft in here. Um, more advanced scenery, considering I have seen a few F-ups. Let's turn on the plane, uh, shifty three, no, what was it, shifty two and shifty. Those are the hatches. Uh, I did want to check this out, so let's just speed on over there. Um. Get up off the ground. Come on, off the ground. There we go. Yep, that was clearly a... Hey! What? Stalls near the ground. Work fine. Lovely. I, I want to check if they have... the. Because uh, that... Uh, I want to see ramp markers in the game. Unlike FSX, which did it poorly, I want to see ramp markers. I'm not even caring for the quality of the aircraft right now. Spin it. Round. And there's no ramp markings. There's no ramp markings here. There's the gate lines, but yeah, they need to add uh, the ramp mark. As you see here, you have the taxi line, and the taxi line's all good and fine, but you don't have any of the proper markings here, do you? You have the uh, gate markings, you have road vehicle markings. You don't have all the markings, though. Shadows could use some work, too. That's a bug I am noticing. Look at that. It's weird. Um, yeah. Thank you all for watching, and, uh... Yeah, brain looks good. Uh, yeah, thank you all for watching, and have a good day! This is the end of the stream. Um... If you want... Uh, to follow me on Twitter, I may post something later of... If it works, I will post something with... Saying, I did it. So, let's see, um, if I can get add-on planes to work. Have a good day, and I will see you guys later.